Basics now, 4.1% GDP. That's more than double the average GDP under Barack Obama, whose policies strangled the U.S. economy. And the even better news is, this is only the beginning. But economists question whether that growth can continue at this pace in the face of trade tensions and rising rates. Typical mainstream media spin. Things are okay, but bad times are coming. Wrong. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Uh, Barry, we said on this program about 18 months ago, people were talking about maybe 3 4% GDP. I said, yeah, easy. That's a low number. I'm thinking even higher now when you consider one thing alone. I mean, there are many factors here, Barry, but one thing alone, this uh, money that's overseas being repatriated, you're talking trillions and trillions of dollars. That money's got to go somewhere. Yeah, Graham, the, the big change has been a, a complete cutback in the amount of regulations that strangled business in the last two years of the Obama administration. Many of those regulations rushed through at the last minute. Um, it's freeing up American business at the same time confidence is growing in the consumer side of the economy is creating massive growth. This literally could be the best year for economic growth since 2005 if the number just stays above three percent trump's current economic advisor and the last economic advisor in the white house are both saying because the growth is in consumer confidence and consumption by consumers this growth has wheels and will continue it's a fantastic report for the trump administration uh, I wonder how the press will report it. Yeah, I'm looking at numbers in, in my mind, uh, reminiscent of 1984. And if folks don't remember what happened in 1984, I would suggest Googling GDP in 1984 in one quarter alone. It was spectacular, and I'm seeing a similar trend uh, here. Now, this socialist candidate who wants to do exactly the opposite of what uh, uh, President Trump is doing in the White House, this socialist candidate, Bernie Sanders' protege out of New York, this student running uh, for Congress. She's got a wonderful idea to pay for all her socialist programs. Yes, she does. Uh, the plan is to take all the money she can from everybody else and redistribute it. As uh, Margaret Thatcher said, the problem with socialism, Graham, is eventually you run out of other people's money. Yeah. The other people's money that uh, this candidate wants to use is massive increases on individual income tax, massive increases in corporate income tax, and massive uh, carbon taxes on fossil fuels, and finally, a massive cut in the U.S. military. It's a prescription to completely collapse the American economy yep. that we just talked about in so glowing terms. No, and she's, she's a, she's a part-time bartender and a part-time <laughs> student. She's not qualified to run the country. She's a full-time socialist, that's for sure, and she's learned massive amounts <laughs> from Bernie Sanders. Real quick, it ain't easy being a Trump supporter in Hollywood uh, lately. For Just this week, first... Uh, Trump's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame vandalized, and then within 24 hours, human beings who support Trump vandalized. Yeah, you, sh you know it. And what's really curious is there was a white person along with a person of mixed race who were supporting Trump. Uh, the white person was ridiculed for being white. The uh, mixed race person was called the N-word. And then it was F Trump, F Trump, F Trump. Uh, there is no shortage of racism when you want to attack the president. Everything is okay because the press says it's okay, Graham. Remember, death threats against the president, rape threats against the first lady, kidnapping threats against the first son, and the media doesn't condemn it. So it makes the mob okay to do and say whatever they want. Frankly, it's embarrassing. It turns my stomach. And I'll tell you one thing, that star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame Needs 24-hour secret service protection, to say the least. <laughs> Barry, thanks.